And as Sister Chris and our presidencies and I were meeting to plan this evening, we kind of were talking about, well, you know, okay, who should we have talk? And we're talking about sisters, and we decided, the reason we decided to ask the priesthood to speak is because we thought, you know, we know what we do, we know what's going on, and we thought it would be really nice to get it from, from their perspective. And maybe, and I don't know about you sisters, but hearing them talk, there are some things said that are not things that I would have recognized as, you know, what we do. And so I appreciate um, all of those gentlemen for speaking. I have to tell you a quick story about my dad. As Brother Cook was talking and he said he want, you know, sees these sisters and he wants to give everyone a big hug. Well, my dad never saw a woman that he didn't love. And it didn't matter if it was a stranger, someone he'd known forever, old, a baby, young, whatever. He kissed them. <laughs> and in fact, at, they had a big, in my ward, they had a big Relief Society, you know, actually ward activity, and they were playing a get-to-know-you game. And it was like, if, if they read a statement and it applied to you, you know, then you stood up, and if you didn't, you just stayed sitting. And um, a member of the bishopric was reading, and he said, um, if you have ever kissed Don Allen, who kissed my dad, every single woman <laughs> Um, but he is an influence in my life who always loved Relief Society and loved the women and loved the sisters. And I, I remember he always quoted, he, this was his, what he liked to say, he said, Heavenly Father blessed men with the priesthood just so that we would be able to be a little bit closer to motherhood. He said, there's no way we can ever touch you sisters. But it gave us just, it got us a little bit closer because he just loved, he loves did love, he passed away, but he loved women and he loved the sisters and all that they did in the gospel. 